don't have to read the English. I don't know why she Yes, 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 yes. Just read this page. And you don't have to be really close to this mic. Mm -hmm. Maybe at least this far away. Okay.
Good evening, and welcome to Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier Parish. We're so glad that you could be with us as we celebrate this memorial mass in celebration of the life of Pope Emeritus Benedict the 16th. Now, please rise as you are able and join me in singing number 821, I Heard the Voice of Jesus Say, number 821. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to all of you, to my brother priests, to our deacons, to our seminarians, to all of you who have come this evening to honor Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI. Thank you for being here in this beautiful night. Let us open our hearts to God's love tonight, the love of which our late Pope spoke so eloquently in his first encyclical. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust them to the furnace of the Lord's mercy.
I confess to Almighty God, God and to my brothers, brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, immortal shepherd of souls, look on your people's prayers and grant that your servant, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who presided over your church in charity, may with the flock entrusted to his care Receive from your mercy the reward of a faithful chef steward. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Bài trích sách châm ngôn Này con, nếu lời thầy con luôn nhận lấy Và huấn lệnh thầy con hằng ấp ủ Nếu con lắng tay nghe lẽ khôn ngoan Và hướng lòng theo sự hiểu biết Phải, nếu con cầu xin trí thông minh Và nài ơn hiểu biết nếu con tìm khôn ngoan như tìm bạc và lùng kiếm như thể kho tàng thì lúc đó con sẽ hiểu thế nào là kính sợ Đức Chúa và sẽ khám phá ra điều hiểu biết Thiên Chúa có nghĩa là gì. Vì chính Đức Chúa ban tặng khôn ngoan trí thức và hiểu biết là nhờ người mà có Ai ngay chính Được người trợ lực Người thần khiên thuẫn Cho kẻ sống thân liêm Giữ gìn đường nẻo người chính trực Bảo vệ lối đi kẻ tính trung Bây giờ Con sẽ hiểu Thế nào là công bình Thế nào là chính trực công minh đó là đường đưa tới hạnh phúc. The word of the Lord.
Czytanie z drugiego listu świętego Pawła Apostoła do Tymoteusza. Umiłowany, pamiętaj na Jezusa Chrystusa, potomka Dawida. On według Ewangelii mojej powstał z martwych. Dla niej znoszę niedolę, aż do więzów jak złoczyńca. Ale Słowo Boże nie uległo skrępowaniu. Dlatego znoszę wszystko przez wzgląd na wybranych, aby i oni dostąpili zbawienia w Chrystusie Jezusie razem z wieczną chwałą. Nauka ta zasługująca na wiarę. Jeżeliśmy bowiem z Nim współumarli, wespół z Nim żyć będziemy. Jeśli trwamy w cierpliwości, wespół z Nim też królować będziemy. Jeśli się będziemy Go zapierali, to i On nas się zaprze. Jeśli my odmawiamy wierności, On wiary dochowuje, bo nie może się zaprzeć siebie samego. The Word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Peter said to Jesus, we have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, amen, I say to you that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. It's just so good to see you all here tonight. Um, 
for me anyway, I don't know about any of my brothers here, but the, the sense for a priest of becoming a father isn't something that immediately happens with ordination. It, it grows on you through the years. And especially as we gather tonight to uh, honor the life and pray for the soul of somebody we all called father, um, I just want you to know how good it is from where I stand to be here. I've actually spent a lot of time thinking about the ways in which the pontificates of the last, uh, of John Paul II and Benedict ended. It has put me in mind as I think and pray about it of the last two lines of a poem which you might know by Robert Frost, The Oven Bird. The last two lines are, the question he frames in all but words is what to make of a diminished thing. When Pope John Paul II died, it was after we had all watched the decay of his charm, that robust, twinkle-in-the-eye quality that had won the world's heart from day one. It was hard to watch. See how I am diminished, he seemed to say, and love me even so. He had no majestic bearing to catch our eye, no beauty to draw us to him, a man of suffering, knowing pain, like one from whom you turn your face. We see such people every day. We ought to look at them. We ought to love them. With Benedict, I think it was a different grace that comes, of course, from the same fountain of all graces the pierced side of our Lord, a different kind of brilliance. On April 19, 2005, on the balcony above the square, he addressed the huge crowd in that tiny voice that never quite got used to public speaking. After the great Pope John Paul II, the cardinals have elected me a simple and humble laborer in the vineyard of the Lord. The fact that the Lord knows how to work and to act, even with inadequate instruments, comforts me. And above all, I entrust myself to your prayers, he said that day. Joseph Ratzinger was not just being modest, calling himself an inadequate instrument. These were the words of a holy man who had spent his whole life contemplating the one who had said to his friends, without me, you can do nothing. What we see, or what I see, and what I want to share with you, that I see it, so beautifully in the end of both John Paul and Benedict's pontificates is the virtue of detachment. Call to mind for a moment Jesus' parable about the builder who should calculate the cost before beginning to build a tower, or the other one that follows it about the king who needs to assess the readiness of his army before he engages the enemy, or Call to mind what our Lord says in tonight's gospel about houses, brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers, children, and lands. The disciple must be detached from the gifts he loves and for which he is deeply, deeply grateful if he is going to put those gifts to work in the kingdom of God. At the end of both pontificates, we see an imitation of Christ, 
an oblation, a free gift, a gift freely given for the good of the body, which is the church. Deus Caritas Est is Benedict's first encyclical. My favorite nugget is his description of God's love as elective. God's love is like democracy. It's the work of a free people. It's a work which makes them responsible for the whole. Here are three more nuggets. The Pope says you can't always give love. You must also receive. If you don't, you'll run dry. He speaks of the angels ascending and descending on the ladder in Jacob's dream in Genesis 28. Of course, they have to go back up after coming down. Quote, one must constantly drink anew from the original source, which is Christ Jesus, from whose pierced heart flows the love of God. Unquote. Second of three more nuggets. There is a mystical communion between the disciple and Jesus, which happens in the Eucharist right now. This communion draws us out of ourselves, like all true love does, and puts us in relationship not only with God, but with our neighbor even in his or her weakness, whatever form that might take. Worship and ethics, Benedict says he means worship and good works, are the same thing in Deus Caritas Est. Whatever you do to the least of these little ones, Jesus says to his disciples, you do unto me. And Benedict adds, Eucharistically, whoever does not give God, gives too little. Third of three more nuggets. If I want to be in a growing, joyful relationship with Jesus, I have to put everything on the table even my most private emotions. What this means is those people with whom I am put into communion through him and with him and in him, I don't get to choose them. <laughs> he does. The Lord chooses who he wants to put me in communion with through Jesus, with Jesus, and in Jesus. In the encyclical, Benedict says, in God and with God, I can love even the person whom I do not like or even know. Then I learn to look on the other person, not simply with my eyes and my feelings, but from the perspective of Jesus Christ. His friend is my friend." Unquote. Today, Pope Francis referenced the oblation of the pierced one in his homily. Quote, See my hands, he says to Thomas and to each of us, see my hands. Pierced hands that constantly reach out to us, recognizing the love that God has for us and to believe in it. John Paul II had the brilliance and the charm. And when it started to slip, he wanted us to watch, to teach us that way because of the way we had honored him and his gifts of charm and strength and vigor and certainty and popularity. 
Benedict was 75 when he was elected Pope, 20 years older. He'd already asked to retire numerous times. And he was following in the footsteps of somebody whose heart he knew intimately and who was a friend. And with his own brilliance, having examined his conscience before God over and over, he determined that his strength, the burdens of age, and required an was no longer sufficient for the exercise of the Petrine ministry. And so he, in his way, did something that hadn't been tried in 600 years. He resigned. And he was certain that it was for the good of Christ's body, the church, which he loved. He let it go. We learn by watching him too. As we allow the Lord to enter into a mystical communion, as we allow the mystical communion with our Lord to draw us deeper into love with him and with our neighbor tonight and with the saints, and with the poor souls, we pray for Benedict. Benedict, in Pope Francis's beautiful words today, the faithful friend of the bridegroom, may your joy be complete as you hear his voice, now and forever. Trusting in God as in our Father, we put all of our needs into the Lord's hands. Do zmarłego papieża Benedykta XVI, który głosił, że Bóg jest miłością i że w Nim mamy nadzieję zbawienia, aby Pan Bóg obdarzył Go swoją miłością na wieki w niebie.
저희들의 교황 성화 프란시스코 교황님 블라세 주교님 주교님의 대리자이신 마크 그리고 교회 직무에 있는 모든 이들을 위하여 기도합니다. 충실하고 열매를 맺으며 거룩한 목자로서 그들의 직무를 축복 주소서. 바라 sa kapatid nating yumao na si Joseph na nakibahagi sa pagkapari ni Kristo Jesus at tumakay sa ating lahat sa panalangin at pagsamba. Nawa ay akayin siya ng Diyos sa kanyang kaharian sa langit. Manalangin tayo sa Panginoon. Por todos los catequistas, teólogos y maestros de la fe, que el Señor les conceda el espíritu de humildad en su búsqueda por la sabiduría de Dios y el valor de proclamar y enseñar la verdad salvífica de Jesucristo. For those who have not yet come to have an encounter with Jesus Christ, that they may experience the love of God as his beloved sons and daughters, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, and all who will die this day, that they may see our Lord face to face in his refreshment, light, and peace. Father, hear the prayers we offer you this evening. We offer them because we trust in your love. We offer them in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Please join in singing number 705, Holy God, we praise thy name, number 705.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the peaceful offering of your people, with which we confidently commit to your mercy the soul of your servant, Pope Benedict, and grant, we pray, that having been in the midst of the human family, an instrument of your charity and peace, he may merit to delight in the same forever with all your saints, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaot, Venisum Celi, You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord, my God. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit, in Christ. Amen. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance of your elect, especially through with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, Mark, our Vicar, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Pope Benedict you called from this world to your son. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly bodies after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every fear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in your kingdom, according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Please offer each other the sign of peace.
please join me in singing number 1029, I am the bread of life, number 1029.
Let us pray. As we come to the table of your eternal banquet, we humbly beg your mercy, Lord, for the soul of your departed servant, Pope Benedict, that he may rejoice at last in possession of the truth in which he faithfully confirmed your people. Through Christ our Lord. Solo quiero de dar gracias a todos. I want to say thank you for coming de todas las partes del Vicaria. So we're here from all over. I, I was struck as we were getting ready for this Mass, the number of languages. I wish I, I, I speak a little bit of Spanish. That's about it. And I, I wish I spoke the languages of the people. So amazing, so rich. And I thank you for coming and for all who participated in the, the liturgy. I really want to thank my staff. Oh, I should have introduced myself. I'm Father Wayne Watts. I'm the pastor of Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier, uh, and know that you're always welcome here. But the staff, I, you know, this is the way I work. The bishop called, I said yes, and then everyone else got to work. 
So uh, I, I just kind of watched things happen, and it was really spectacular uh, in a special way to thank John and the choir and Father Ryan. You guys have done an amazing job, Anna and Joe Diarco. Really, I, I, I'm so grateful. Uh, and my last thing I wanted to do The Pope described himself as simple labor, un trabajador, you know, and he was a simple guy, and he liked his cerveza. <laughs> and so, uh, as in his honor, we're going to have a very simple reception with a little beer and a little wine to toast to our Holy Father Emeritus Benedict. Uh, the community room is right around the corner. We'll be jammed in there, but that's the way I like things. I'm one of nine kids, but really in a special way to thank the bishop for coming up with this idea and getting the ball rolling. So thanks all for being here. Hope to see you over at the community room. I just want to thank Father Watts because his team really did put out 120 percent and that is probably because that's what you do too up here. And so many of our priests and deacons and staff, uh, uh, we know that there are many reasons for working for the church, but remuneration is not one of them. So we know you're doing it for love. And, and from the bottom of my heart, I thank uh, all of you for, for your work for the church in a particular way, Father Wayne. Thank you. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let's go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. As we go forth, please join in singing number 725, verses 1 and 3, O God, beyond all praising. Salve. I think we're going to sing the Salve first, John. Salve Regina, Mater Miseric.